The skies are finally clearing up after a light rain fell most of the afternoon. The weather's approaching 49 degrees, so we've got a brisk West Virginia evening ahead of us. Wrap up tight and settle in, folks. This is 104.3 WBCK, the Basswood Sound. I'm your host, Carrie Hammond. Coming up after a short break, mental health expert Dr. Wick will discuss the recent opioid epidemic that's been affecting... Time to kill before the funeral. Might as well spend it here. This place was always one for decisions. Somewhere for things to fall apart. Welcome back to Basswood, Sam. I came up here every chance I could. One of the all-time great views. Really makes a small town look big. I remember spending entire summers on the banks, fishing with Nick. My hometown. It felt more imposing in my nightmares. Strange to think of Basswood without its mine. I'm not sure Nick would even want me at his funeral, given how I left things. the feeling it still sees some use, given how bad the coverage is up here. These trails were great to walk if you wanted to feel truly alone. Hunting is another tradition I could never get behind. Just don't see the appeal. Some of these species are endangered. 
She wrote an article about it. A lot of people were upset when it closed, but not upset enough to fix it. I left a sandwich in it for a whole week once. Dad never let me forget it. I used to love looking at basswood from up here. Help give me perspective. Until that day. Can't the real world be as clear and peaceful as my own mind? Even if it does mean nothing stays hidden in here. Not even me. my little girl's godfather? I, I wouldn't trust anyone else with this. And yet I stopped taking his calls. He even called once the day before he died. I'll never know what he wanted to talk to me about. This is Anna. She works freelance. Uh, does a lot of the human interest pieces. What can I say? I'm interested in humans and their pieces. <laughs> what do you like to write? I gotta run to a review with Walt. You two feel free to chit chat. And Sam, be nice. I had never met someone so interested in others, even in me. The story is important. You know I think that. It's just. People around here have short tempers and long memories. Be careful. Sam, are you even listening to me? I heard you, Anna. But no, I wasn't listening. Come on, Anna, look at this. What is it? Someone skinny dipping? Anna, you really need to see this. I can't even see. Something's blocking it. Sam, what are you doing? I'm trying to be romantic. What? Wait. Please don't tell me you're proposing. I'm down on one knee, a ring. What else would I be doing? You look like I just ran over your grandma. Okay, the silence is really starting to scare me now. Anna, please say something. Sam, put that away. Come on. I don't want a ring. I don't need a ring. You should know that. We've discussed it before. We weren't happy. She was the one brave enough to face that. Lost in my head again. How much time did I miss? I 
I missed the funeral. Maybe it's for the best. On the bright side, Nick's not alive for me to let him down again. Sorry, Walter, but I don't think I'll stick around. Given up already? Just a quick, depressing jaunt down memory lane and then you're gone? I know you think that the only thing waiting for you down there is hurt. Lots of hurt. And you might be right. But it's been two years. It's time to face the world. Time to adult. The good news, though, at least you don't have to do it alone. Lost the signal. Some things never change. actually came. It's been a while. You've gotten taller. Can we talk? We're talking right now. It's cold. So... You left. Joan, that's not fair. You left. Look, Joan, I messed up. You said you wouldn't leave. You said... You said... I don't remember exactly, but you pinky swore. I didn't mean to lie, I just screwed up. After Anna broke up with me, I'm, I'm sorry. I wish words meant anything. I wish this didn't make it harder for you to trust me now. You could have at least called something, especially after, you know, after my dad. I don't know what to say to that. You're right. I wasn't in a state where I could reach out to anyone. I'm still not. If Nick hadn't died, I never would have come back. Thanks for being honest. <laughs> You're always at least honest. Look. 
Listen, I, uh, I wanted to talk to you about what happened to Dad. It doesn't make sense. He wouldn't have just crashed. He drove like a grandma, you know that. It's wrong. I don't buy it. I'm just in town for the funeral, Joan. I'm not a PI or a cop. You're the closest thing I can talk to. Will you just look into it, Muley? Please? She wants her father's death to mean something. But where does that lead? What if it leads to the truth? That could change everything. An hour ago, you wanted to run away. Now you want to start another investigation? A few questions won't hurt anyone. Just tonight. To reassure her. And myself. This is a wake. If you poke around, people may end up poking back. Okay, whatever you do, at least leave the kid out of it. It would be cruel to lead her on. Friends don't lie to each other. Even if it means disappointing her again? It's your call. Okay, I'll see what I can see and all that. Gumshoe it up. You will? You make some good points. It doesn't fit. I hate when things don't fit. Yeah, me too. I might just be, I don't know, crazy or something, but... You want to know for sure. I get it. Thanks, Muley. I, um... I should go in before my mom misses me. You better get in there, too. Can't hide in your car all night. Who says I'm hiding out here? I do. See you inside. Might as well talk to Walter. I'll have to sooner or later. Whoever said you can judge someone by their car never met Tara. Yes. Cat food is under the sink. Yes, yes it is, Mother. Trust me. Oh, Samuel is here. I'll call you back. Samuel Higgs, as I live and breathe. Has it really been over two years? Regardless, I'm so glad you finally made it. It's good to see you. What kept you? A trip down memory lane. I missed the funeral, but I made it to Nick's wake. You have to bring it in for a hug. It's a basswood back in town requirement. So good to see you, even if I wish the circumstances were different. In times like these, we need the comforting touch of others. At least I do. Also, have you spoken to Anna lately? No, why? Um, no reason. If you get the chance, we should catch up. We should really catch up. 
I'll see you inside. I haven't read an issue of this paper since I left. I wonder how they've been doing without me. Must have been a hard issue to write. Ugh, I'm not ready for this. Here we go. Mr. Samuel Higgs, Big Shot investigative reporter. Didn't think you'd ever be back in here. I'd gladly slash your tires, but that mean you couldn't leave town. And you are leaving town right after this. Just really embracing those Hicks stereotypes, huh, Joel? <sighs> Gentlemen. Get you good old boys another round. Mighty kind of you, Declan. You're not worth it, Higgs. Making friends already, I see. Declan, been a while. Hey, careful. I'd rather not be working tonight. And you always seem to angry up everyone's blood. I'm only here to pay my respects to Nick. Nothing more, nothing less. Yeah, shame that. You watch yourself. I think it's time I go put up a photo at the memorial board. That's what people do. Declan lacks subtlety, but he loves this town like no one else. You always did know how to start a ruckus. Can't say I missed that. That's the guy who got the mine closed. That's where Nick and I sat every time he dragged me out for drinks after work. Sammy! Oh, it's been ages. Tara? Oh, me? I've had this stomach thing lately, always churning. Uh... And this thing with Nick, his car went up like a Sunday ham. He burned alive, you know. Have you met Hugh? He took over the old pharmacy just after you left. Um, no. The infamous Sam. I've read that article you wrote on the mine. You must have put in a lot of late work on that. It took reading thousands of public records, but a pattern emerged of willful negligence. You are a bulldog. A dangerous man to anyone using power to exploit others. That's nice of you to say. Oh, don't hesitate to drop by the pharmacy sometime. Oh, and Sam, you... But for now, I have a feeling you're not here for us. Oh, oh, right. Don't be a stranger, Sam. There was no love lost between Kathy and Nick since their divorce. But anyone can see she's taking his death hard. Kathy, uh... Sam, you actually came. I know you two haven't been together for a long time, but I'm still sorry. We hadn't been close in years, but he was my daughter's father. I'll miss him. Joan was really hurt when you left town. Nick and I were never close after the breakup, and Joan's never had a lot of friends. Yeah. Um. Maybe don't break her heart this time when you leave town. All right?
Hard to make promises. I don't do well with those in Joan. I've noticed. But I'll try. Sam, I'm gonna hold you to that. Sorry we lost touch. Sorry I lost touch. Rest up, big guy. I wonder who took that picture. Look at us. He was more her best friend than a dad. This photo always looked weird. Nick could never keep a straight face. Happier times. We drove straight to the sea after work on a Friday. Hell of a weekend. Those two were a great team. Bug was so small back then. Samuel, guess I lost the bet. Bet? Yeah, that bet you'd never come back to Basswood. Not after you went careening out of town like a bat out of hell the instant that article broke bad. Okay, I'll bite. Tell me, Dennis, who did you have a standing bet with? Myself. So I guess I also won. What are you even doing here, Dennis? You and Nick become friends or something? Nope. He thought I was a drunk, which I am. And I thought he was a hack, which he was. This coming from the IT guy. Didn't know resetting passwords could give you a journalism degree. It can. But it does give me less patience for people who sling mud my way. Relax. I'm just playing. <laughs> At least tell me how you've been. Yeah, like you'd care. Uh, not too much. But suit yourself if you want to be like that. Anyway, cheers to Nick. A man that, unlike us, people actually liked. Speaking of which...
Has it really been two years since I saw her? She hasn't changed a bit. Anna? Sam! I've missed you. Why did it take so long for you to darken my doorstep? Well, I'm here now. I'll have to try and come by more often. That's what I'm supposed to say, right? Even if not everyone around here would like it. People around here have short tempers. <laughs> and long memories. But most of them mean well. Sam, the mine was gonna close anyways. Maybe in a year or two, five, if the Lord has a sense of humor. It was gonna run dry or have an even bigger disaster. It wasn't your fault. I wish everyone else understood that. People are scared, mad. You were easy to blame. When my father lost his legs, nobody knew the mine wasn't following regulations. You were the only one who started asking questions. Whenever people talk about you, he always says, you did the right thing. Yeah, well, your dad's Joe. He's an oak, unmoving and annoyingly supportive. <laughs> It wasn't just him. Nick thought your piece was great. He was actually jealous. He always wanted to write something that shook the pillars of heaven, as he used to put it. You know, Nick and I had moved in together, started to get serious. But I think it's only now I realize how much I cared for him. You and Nick started going out? When did this happen? A few months ago. He... He never told you? He asked me to let him be the one to say something. You two had been so close. He probably tried. I hadn't been answering his calls. Ah. <laughs> That's the worst part, right? Anything broken just stays broken now. But this... This was all nice. The funeral, the wake. Walter did a good job. But it all just makes me feel heavy. It makes my heart hurt. Like Nick's memory has been laid on top of me and I'm still carrying him. It's hard for me to really just wrap my head around it. Nick being gone. Smart. Don't rock the boat when the person in the boat just lost a loved one. It's big. I can't get my head around it either. His stuff is all over my house, but he's just missing. Things without an owner. Most of it I'll probably give to Joan and Kathy, the throw away, I don't even know. Sam, I'm tired, and if I'm gonna drink and cry, I wanna do it alone. I played that stupid, stupid song like I told myself I would. He said, or he used to say, it made him ache. I did it and I'm going home. We need to catch up though. Let's meet for coffee tomorrow and talk. Really talk. 9.30? Yeah, maybe. I'll be at the cafe across from the paper, Christina's. It was honestly nice seeing you. Samuel, come, have a round with me. I need a drink or two, or three, and then I'll go. Pretty courageous of him to try his luck in Basswood, given the state of things. Of that amount, he's there. I can't believe this whole thing's still working.
The kids and I've been busy And we'd get a little something for you That's gonna make you smile all day Daddy, 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 daddy But when the lights are out It's time for me to show you Sit yourself down Now you should know How much Nick and I spent so much money on this machine Anna used to play it almost every night. She stopped after her father's accident. Some people can play this game drunk. Anna was best at three beers. Declan lacks subtlety, but he loves this town like no one else. He'd think a kid at a bar would stand out more. Walter can be overwhelming at times. I didn't know you read Dick but he and means Deacon. well. Uh, not really. You just He's owned this bar for almost a decade and here. still can't afford another employee. Then you should read Great Expectations. It's a masterpiece, plain and It does look tempting. So, Nick wasn't drunk, and me? I was drunk as a skunk. Ah, Samuel, Samuel, Samuel. Join us. We were just sharing stories about dear Nicholas. And let me get your next round. Maybe Ethan has a suggestion for a worthy spirit? Oh, spirits? Oh, no, no. Friends drink beer. Yes, I suppose that's fitting. To dear Nicholas. Yeah, he'd been coming in a lot lately. Sat right there, with a bad dad joke or two. <laughs> with friends, I guess? Maybe Anna. No, well, by himself, with his laptop as his date. He never drank alone. You two were close, though, right? Tell me about the man outside the bar. He had a terrible memory. Couldn't remember names, dates, passwords. Kept his notes squirreled around him like a horde. underage child doing drink? You have no control over her? Ethan can lose I his wasn't license. doing anything! Don't touch me! Joan! Leave me alone. Uh, you guys are all so... so... stupid! You do not talk to people that way. I'm... I'm sorry, everyone. She's just so... so... That was quite heavy-handed. I hope the little one doesn't take it to heart.
I'll send her a text. Make sure she's gonna be okay. I'd say that went well, ish. You got to chat with everyone you've been avoiding. Even if the years didn't smooth their animosity as much as I hoped. Just shut up. Coming back to Basswood was your idea. You're the one in the driver's seat, Sam. I can't make you do anything. Deep down, you've been looking for a reason to come back. It's gonna be one of those long nights inside your head, huh? Hey, I didn't, I didn't ask for you to be here, to come back. I couldn't let you miss this. You just showed up. You can't see it now, but the guilt would have eaten you alive. You're back out in the world, feeling emotions, fitting in, that's progress. Fuck the world. Pointless talking and more talking and no one says what they mean. Go away. Let me enjoy being miserable. Just try and make sure you don't do anything stupid. No promises. Okay. What kind of monsters have a checkout at nine? What happened last night? Oh, my head. Pills plus drinking. That was not my best idea. Did I black out or what? Ugh, I can't. I can't wait for checkout. They can wait a bit more. here? Ugh. Did I drive it back? Lucky to have made it in one piece. Ugh, oh, my head. How many of these did I take? God, what a headache. I feel like a small jackhammer in my left temple. Didn't even get under the covers. Glad I even made it to the bed. Please let there be water. No, no more beer. I need water. Is that? No, that's not water. That is vodka, the opposite of water. No water, of course. At least it won't take me long to get my things. Just tossed on the floor. My mother would be proud.
I already feel more human. Now, where did I put my shirt? I was at least hoping I'd look better than I feel. Doing good, really good. You're almost there. Focus, choose, act deliberately. If I run, I'll keep running. And you face what happened. The answers. answers. I know what you're thinking. Stop thinking that. Pills and alcohol? You're lucky enough you didn't wake up dead. I need to know what happened last night. The last place I remember is the bar, so I'll start there. A squeaky nail gets hammered down. Maybe don't play lone wolf detective. There's too many questions about last night. All the obvious answers are bad, but worth knowing. Not all answers are worth knowing. I can't just run from whatever this is. So either help me or get out of my head. It's your life, Sam. I just live here. The 
The more things change, the more they stay the same. Do you really think breaking and entering is a good idea? Use Ethan's hidden spare key, no breaking involved. I don't know if he'll see it that way. I could wait for the bar to open, or I could look for answers. I picked the latter. seen this before a long time ago Ethan and his parents and I'm guessing that's his sister he always thought they'd run the bar together night. First, look around, figure out what happened. I ended up drinking alone. So who brought that second glass? do this? Sorry, Nick. What knocked this clock off the pillar? These were sent scattering. Someone thrown into them? They might have fallen off the table. Seems some people got rowdy last night. Ripped. Did this happen yesterday or was it always like that? It seems there was a fight. It could explain the blood on my shirt. Does it mean that I was involved? I won't be able to find out without more evidence. Joel's hat. Maybe we ended up having it out after all. Chasing and being chased by ghosts.
mess. Hope this wasn't me. Definitely not the wake Nick would have wished for. Hugh's business card. Wonder why it's here. Definitely not the wake Nick would have wished for. What a mess. Hope this wasn't me. D.G. Dennis's initials. Was he involved in whatever happened? Wouldn't surprise me. I think I've seen enough to put together the pieces of what happened last night. Just gotta think it through. The pot was completely shattered. Looked like it might have been kicked. Could be the same blood that was on my shirt. At least I can always count on this place to make sense. Now to work out what happened while I was blacked out last night. I just need to think it through logically, throw out impossibilities. Until only the truth is left. I know I got into a fight, but it could have played out in many different ways. I have to think it through, find out what really happened. My memory ends here, but there's two glasses. I was drinking on my own, when someone approached me. I can't remember who it was, but I know we got into a fight. Obviously. figure out how the fight went, I should figure out who my assailant was. A damaged seat. It's possible the fight made its way over here. Looks like not even the memorial board was spared by the brawl. 
That could be it, but I still have to figure out who was sitting next to me. Joel's cap. Maybe he provoked me again after I'd had a few? doesn't match the damage done to the room. The pharmacist's business card. Hope I didn't start picking on the elderly. That's Dennis's. I definitely wanted to shut him up last night. doesn't match the damage done to the room. The pharmacist's business card. Hope I didn't... doesn't match the damage done to the room. Something hit the pillar with enough force to make the clock fall. A person thrown into the pillar would do it. That's Dennis's. I have the complete picture now. You know, the man who talks to himself has an idiot for an Fuck audience. Fuck off, Dennis. <laughs> I see why you have so many friends left in town. Yeah, you would know about that. At least my best friend never slept with my ex. Who do you blame more, huh? The backstabbing asshole or the bitch who... about Anna or Nick that way. You think you know who Nick was? Mr. Perfect? Give me a break. You have no idea. No one in this town does. What are you talking about? I'll show you. Not here. Sam. Meet me later at Sam. the... Ethan is coming back in through the front. At least I think it's him. You think it's him? I can't actually tell if you can't tell. What I know for sure is, if it's Ethan, he may not be happy to find you here. So I strongly suggest you leave. And if you don't, well, tell him you're here to apologize about last night. You trashed up his bar and then broke in. Time to leave if you're leaving. You'll want to apologize. Trust me. God damn. Sam? You're, you're not here to rob me, right? I blacked out last night. I needed to figure out what happened, so I came in the back. You drank too much. Yeah. So you broke into my bar? Yeah. After smashing it up last night? No, that's not what happened. Actually, what happened is- Sam, get the hell out of here before I call the cops. Okay, that's fair.
I come back on the town's Miner's Day celebration. Well, you always did have great timing. No time to dwell on that. Focus. You tried Dennis's cell phone, no answer. So what now? There's that coffee date with Anna. Anna might have to wait. I want to see if anyone has seen Dennis first. I don't know, I'll play it by ear. Just remember she's expecting you. She's extending the olive branch. Don't drop it. I still have time before meeting Anna. Might as well ask if anyone saw Dennis.